just wanted to post a short video here of this uh, fifth generation white 80 gig iPod. Um, you can see here, not sure if you can make that out in the back there, but uh, 80 gig and I'll try to post some pictures on that. It's got a little tag there on the top here, kind of hard to read with the uh, tripod here in the back, but it just says every really new idea looks crazy at first. Got that engraved direct from Apple when purchased when I purchased this a couple years back. Just to see here that it does work. You can just hit the menu button and just load it on a couple songs. Uh, when you receive the iPod, um, I'll clear off everything so it'll be just like a, a brand new iPod. Uh, I'm not going to include the software because the software is outdated so you'd want to go out to Apple's website and download the latest software. No headphones included as well. You probably don't want to use the headphones. I've been using with this thing, looking to basically uh, sell this now since I have an iPhone and um, you know services as an iPod, so there's really no need to be using this now. So I've loaded some songs on here. Um, you can basically see, I'm going to turn off the screen. You might be able to make out on the screen, there's a little bit of kind of like a little bit of a mark right about here or so, see if you can make that out. That's one thing, um, you know, that's uh, is not, uh, you know, the same as what you would get with a brand new iPod. The other thing is, um, for some reason, uh, you know, I noticed, and it's probably just fiddling, uh, messing with this down here to fix that issue, but, you know, I'm not going to take the time to do that now. But I notice when I hook it up to something like an FM transmitter, um, or if I play it on a speaker dock, that I have to kind of jiggle the iPod to get the sound to work. And actually, I have... Um, a speaker dock here to actually show you what I mean but then I also have some headphones here on the side that I'll show you that the headphone jack works fine um, and I'll shoot another short video uh, as well that you'll see where you can see that it actually syncs up with a computer fine so for syncing purposes it syncs up fine but when it sits in a dock or when I've used an FM transmitter in the car or something like that uh, I've had issues with that so let me just pull in the dock here and we'll sit this in a dock and I'll hit play and of course now it's coming up right away so but it, you can see if I jiggle this you know it can be a hit or miss I just want to kind of put that out there I, you know I don't want someone to buy this thinking there's no issues at all and then you run into an issue here so sometimes it works like you can see here it works fine but just be aware that you know, you might have to play with it a little bit when you're using something like that. And just to give you an example, I have another iPod here. I'll pull this out. And throw that in here. And you can see how this one here, I can jiggle it. And nothing happens. It continues to play the song. So and that's what I mean by sometimes you have to fiddle with it a little bit. And now also, just to make sure that... The headphone works here. Plugged it into some headphones I have here. Should be able to hear the audio, have it cranked up all the way. So the headphone jack works fine. There goes the hold button. Press that. Doesn't do anything. So you can see it's a fully functioning iPod. It's uh, not sure if you can see the screen real well there. But uh, try to go back out here. Um, you know, took pretty good care of it. I had a cover on it, similar to uh, you know the other iPod I had here for demonstration. So it's a you know it's a good unit, it's taken good care of, and just that one issue here on the bottom. And I'll shoot another uh, short video here uh, so you can see it being synced up to the computer, so you know that you're not going to have the same issue trying to sync this up to a computer where you'd have to jiggle. Um, you know the connection down here that always seems to work fine without any problem so uh, you'd be getting the iPod uh, there's an original uh, little black case that came with it put some pictures up there for that as well and um, basically you get the iPod you know standard iPod sync cable with a USB on the other end and yeah there's some uh, Apple material in there but again the headphones uh, not included okay so that was the 80 gig iPod that I'm looking to sell. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thank you.